hobby here. So, uh, we had a whole lot of questions about the tractor. Uh, it's been my biggest hit video so far. So, I was going to explain some uh, of what's happened. So, the tractor did really well at that very first point. It did really well. Um, it showed proof of concept. Uh, as I said, I was going to try to do a little bit better. Uh, I didn't have any metal working tools at the point in time. The only things I had was uh, like ratchets, sockets, um, things like that, and, and drill. So that's the reason we used what we used the first time to create the engine bracket that we did. This time we had a little bit better tools, plus Dad helped us with uh, using the plasma cutter and cutting uh, the uh, straight line for us. So now we have it all lined up. We could double pulley it. We can go back over here and put another pulley. Uh, I wanted to see just how much. Uh, I've done a lot of work. I've graded the, the road. I've done uh, uh, work up and down the hill. Uh, there's really very little belt slippage. Everything works really good. Uh, so here's what we did with the engine. The engine I took completely apart and then I removed the pistons and left the crank solid. Uh, then that way we could do a uh, free spin and the engine would be uh, able to be pulled from the uh, front main pulley and down here you'll see this is your main drive pulley and this is how I've coupled up the uh, the hydraulics this is the hydraulic pump that runs the hydraulics for everything and this is where I could do that secondary pump if I really or secondary belt if I really want it to but uh, um, I, I'm not going to do a secondary belt as of right now. I don't see any real purpose. Um, it would just give us more torque, but I, I don't see that we need more torque yet. So here's how we've, we've got the motor set up now. Uh, it's a lot more solid. And as you can see, there's no flex or anything like there was in the original one. Uh, so this is Tractor 2.0. Uh, everything works hydraulics work the tri the tractor does really phenomenally well the uh, the you can lock both wheels in and scoop the bucket at the same time uh, and still be doing great with the engine pressure I haven't got uh, to be able to bush hog with the new engine or anything yet uh, we plan on doing that this fall to be able to get that and I hope to get a video out to you guys so you guys can see um, another question that I had was a, a bunch of people said, hey, so what did you do about whenever you ripped the valve stem off? So right up here, I ripped the valve stem off on the old tractor wheel when I was working. It, it had one of those really long valve stems. And uh, uh, when I was working really in some tight brush, it, it just came right through here and broke it off. And it, the tractor wheel is as well full of, uh, I think, calcium chloride, but I'm not 100%. Um, but but uh, at any rate, it, it was full of fluid. And so a bunch of you guys said there's nothing that you can do. Uh, you, you'll just have to take it all the way apart and put a new one in. Um, so I had found for an automotive series... Uh, like the uh, 350Z rims and stuff like that. They use a threaded uh, valve stem. And uh, I took the threaded valve stem, threaded it into the tractor wheel because it's just a touch bigger. So it's a really, really tight fit. And uh, once the tractor wheel uh, had no pressure on it, I, I lifted it up with a jack on the other side. And uh, then I took, uh, I put this unit in and just to make sure that it wasn't having any leaks, I went ahead and I put uh, JB Whale around it. And uh, you can see the tractor wheel has been doing phenomenally. Uh, this is, I, I haven't pumped it up or anything like that for about a year now. So it's done really well. Uh, that's a great little uh, fix out in the field if you ever have a real bad problem. And those are like four bucks at the, at the uh, automotive store. They're a screw-in valve stem. And uh, so thanks so much, you guys. I uh, hope to show you a video of it working.